star of Alaska, Finland, too. After the cans were filled, sealed, and cooked, they were labeled and packed in wooden cases, four dozen cans to a case. At the Alaska canneries, the pack was loaded aboard the Starfleet, and the packers headed home. It was a bit of a race, 2,500 miles. Uh, 2,000 miles, roughly from Unimac Pass to San Francisco, and uh, they'd make a race out of it. The fishermen and cannery hands wagered on the outcome of the races, and more than one man lost his season's wages on the bet. The crew that boarded the Star of Bengal in September 1908 never got the chance to lose their money they were about to become unwilling participants in one of the great disasters in Pacific Northwest maritime history. Another season of labor on the processing lines of the APA's Wrangell cannery had ended. The Star of Bengal rested at the dock, her hold bulging with 52,000 cases of canned salmon, valued at $216,000. On board, were 138 sailors and cannery hands. A pair of small steamers, the Hattie Gage and the Kayak, took the ship's six-inch hemp lines in tow. The three-vessel flotilla headed westward, bound for open water. The weather was calm as they left the dock, but the wind and seas grew increasingly violent as darkness fell. When the building storm put her sails aback, the Star of Bengal began to founder. Underpowered and perhaps poorly commanded, the little steamers found themselves unable to make headway to weather. Inexorably, the great bulk of the Bengal dragged them closer to the rocks off Helm Point at the south end of Coronation Island. Shortly before dawn, desperate for their own safety and Unable to communicate with the sailing ship over the gale, the captains of the steamers ordered the tow lines cut with axes. Aboard the Bengal, Captain Nicholas Wagner and his crew hauled in the severed lines in disbelief. I attribute the entire loss of life, and possibly the ship, to the improper and inhuman conduct of the captains of the tugs Hattie Gage and Kayak. Captain Nicholas Wagner. Now their only option was to let go the ship's anchors in a frantic attempt to save the vessel. By 7 a.m., the winds had built to 60 miles an hour. The ship's anchors began to drag. They would soon be on the rocks. Several men managed to reach safety in a lifeboat and tried unsuccessfully to rig a breeches buoy. The rest were less fortunate. This letter is dated February 6, 1943 and written by Captain Nicholas Wagner when he was a resident at the Sailor Snug Harbor in New York. Uh, a lot of these captains did not have pensions and in their last years if they hadn't made any money any other way they generally wind up pretty broke and they could go to the Sailor Snug Harbor. He wrote me this very beautiful handwritten letter but he mentioned not a word about the loss. He died about six months after this letter was written. 